Here we have the Nerf Pro Gelfire Ghost. And today we're joined by a special guest being my bird. And today we're going to do a quick unboxing and review of this gel blaster. In stores, this blaster is around $50 to $40. On Amazon, you can usually find this blaster between $20 and $30, which is a great deal for this blaster. And I'm going to start talking to you about it. Let's get this thing unboxed. Looks like we got a couple different things here. Let's see what we got. We got the blaster itself, the long range barrel, some instructions, 5,000 rounds of ammo, the prime handle, and a pair of protective eyewear. Now let's get some ammo growing up for this gel blaster right now. I got some ammo right here we're gonna use later. This blaster is very, very light. It also comes with a very light, high FPS barrel. You just slide it on just like that. You can take it off by pressing this orange button and sliding it off. It also comes with a little priming handle, which you can screw on to either side. This blaster is actually kind of cool looking for a Nerf blaster. The stock is also adjustable. You just have to press down on this orange button and slide it out. And this blaster is very, very long. This blaster is about three feet long, fully extended. I like to have the long range barrel on because it kind of looks unfinished when you don't have it on. This this blaster also has a 100 round internal hopper. I know it sounds like a little, but I've never had a problem by running out of ammo. This blaster has a top and bottom rail, but sadly this rail does not work with a real gun bipod. This foregrip is actually very comfortable, but it's way too far back for someone like me. My friend Rafi has broken this priming handle off this blaster before, but that might have been because he pulled it back too hard, but I'd definitely be careful while pulling this back. And this blaster also has a very nice thumb hold. You can also adjust the sight by the knobs that are right here. You can use this knob right here to move it up or down. And you can use this knob right here to move it left or right. And I found a really cool trick you can do with this blaster. Now I'm going to show you that trick in the FPS and accuracy test. We got this blaster loaded up with some ammo. Let's see how fast it shoots. First off, 237, 204, 238, 219, 239, and 222. Now let's see how fast it shoots without the long range barrel. 224 FPS, 250, 225, 224, 218, 251. That long range barrel doesn't really do anything for FPS, but it might do something for long range distance, like it says. Now let's test out this accuracy. We're about 20 feet away from the target. Let's see how we do. I'm gonna be aiming for the head. For the most part, it's actually pretty accurate. I was always aiming for the head. I never meant to hit these spots right here. But we have a pretty good grouping right there, which is around where I was aiming. Now, before we stop this test, I wanna show you the cool trick. So what we do is we just prime this back ever so slightly. I did it too much that time. Too much that time, but watch this. Four bullets shot out all at once. About three or four on that one. Even though this blaster is so fun to use, there has been a little problem that I've seen with it. When people use this in gel blaster wars, it's very accurate. But after about 75 feet, it slows down a lot. You can probably hit a target from about 85 feet away with this thing if you have the sight zeroed out and you have it pointed up a little bit. This is very light and fun to use during a gel blaster war, but it is definitely not my first pick. You might have the most FPS out in the field, but you'll definitely have probably the worst rate of fire. I have used this in the 3v3 gel blaster war and it was actually pretty fun to use and very light. Sadly, I did not get a kill with this, but my friend Jacob actually got a couple kills with this. This blaster is awesome for a backyard toy or if you just want to be a sniper during a gel blaster war, I just go ahead and buy it. Right now, it's $20 on Amazon. And to get that discount, click the link down in the description. If you want to watch the Gel Blast War where I use this blaster, click right here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.